All right, so today is a PR day. I'm a little bit excited. Uh, we're gonna start with squats because that's my main focus. I really wanna get stronger there. Uh, pelvic raises, I hit 305, which I'm really happy about. I think I can increase it. But squats, those are like, you hit it and you cannot like pass that certain number. So it was 235, was it 235? It was 235 last time. Um, we'll, we'll shoot for 245. I'll be happy, just 10 pounds more. It's been a little bit of a stressful morning, so it's, I'm trying to use that and uh, what is it, kind of focus on. Uh, I'm trying to use it as a positive way to just put it towards my workout, have a really good workout, hit that PR. Um, I feel like when I'm feeling a little bit stressed, I feel much better after my workout, so I'm just going to do that with how I'm feeling. Just put it all into my squats. Anyways, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to set up right now. <clears throat> So this is my new PR. Let's hope I make it. <laughs> doesn't count in my opinion I didn't go low enough I'm gonna try it again and see if I can go lower I felt my foot placement wrong so we're gonna fix that and see how it goes the 245 I hit parallel I'm gonna try 250 just to see if I can or can't or whatever it's it's about uh, progressing forward so fingers crossed I get this one <laughs>
pretty close. I didn't quite hit as parallel as I would like, but I'm happy I gave it a shot. I'm gonna take a little bit of weights off and kind of just practice the motion heavy um, and have my spotter help me out with that. And yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself. I did good. It was a good lift, right? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> squats today but that's kind of how it happened I went for that PR I'm proud of myself 250 um, and then after that I kind of just did higher reps and different variations on the Smith machine and he helped me which is really important because if he's not like if he doesn't spot me even though it's lightweight I give in sooner than uh, then my body can actually go. Like I still wait till hit till I hit those like really crazy reps that they hurt and I'll do like three maybe and then I'll give up. But if he's behind me, I end up doing like seven or eight more where I'm like dying, dying. So I mean, I like those and I know that that totally probably stressed my body. So to be responsible, I'm gonna stop here because I think I've already burned a lot of calories and took my body in, um, I took my body to levels that were just extreme. So. I'm gonna end it here, but overall it was a really good workout even though all I did was squats. <laughs> so anyways, let's go eat, refuel this body. It's gonna need it. I think I'm gonna be crying in the next day and a half, maybe. It makes me so tired, but overall, perfect workout. I loved it. Jeez, it's really hard to find a place to stabilize my phone. It shakes so much. <laughs> um, anyways, I wanted to quickly address something that I have been avoiding lately, but you have been asking me for, or I've noticed you guys have been asking me for, which is full days of eating uh, more food. You guys want to see food, 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 which is like awesome, and I love doing it, and I did so many, but I notice the pattern every time I post food, and it's usually a lot of negativity. For some reason, it draws out a lot of negativity, um, and I always have to deal with so much drama when I post these kind of videos, and I like to avoid drama, so I, that's why I've been avoiding them. It's just I get a mix of a lot of people that are like, you know, they judge everything you eat. If I eat any meat or any dairy, I get beef for it. Um, if I don't make homemade pasta and I eat pasta from a package, people get like, you should do it like this. Americans don't know how to cook. That's probably the most annoying one. Americans, Americans, Americans this, Americans that. It's like, geez, I'm sorry that I don't make my own homemade pasta. I wouldn't even know where to begin to make it or have the time to make it. That seems pretty complex. Um, 
So like I'll get a lot of beef or just things like that. Or why didn't you eat this? And it's one of those like, just because <laughs> someone just arrived. <laughs> He just got here, so the door opened. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, why don't you eat, you know, a certain fruit or this or that? And it makes it difficult because it's it's like them choosing to not understand that just because I'm showing this in today's vlog doesn't mean this is all I eat every single day. My foods change from day to day. Um, so maybe I didn't he eat a banana or maybe I didn't even eat a piece of fruit that day. Um, doesn't mean that the next day I'm not gonna eat a fruit or a veggie um, I'm with those I like to be really raw and real with them and lately I feel like I can't I can't show you guys what I want to eat because I have to make sure that I please everybody so that no one starts beef with me or you know it doesn't become a negative vlog so for that reason I've kind of been avoiding it and as far as the good food finds well I gotta find foods in order for me to do a vlog like that and as I told you guys I don't really venture out too much with foods um, I told you in the last vlog that we're very we kind of stick to the same things because our body gets adjusted to it and when you venture out too much and you eat something your body doesn't agree with you get sick or you don't feel your best um, so for that reason we kind of stick to what we know and once in a while I'll find something new and that's when I can share it with you guys I can't just share it without fighting anything <laughs> if you get what I mean um, but I kind of just wanted to put this out there because I felt like it was weighing heavy just because so many people kept asking and I kept kind of like putting it off and it's just it's hard because I feel like a, now in social media a lot of people take everything way too personal or too out of context or are digging and looking for something negative to pull out of what you say um, the, you, it, you have to like rephrase your words like a million times to make sure you're not offending anyone in any way and it could be the most simple thing you know and I just everyone seems so sensitive now that it makes it really difficult to vlog freely openly and kind of just be yourself and that's what I like that's what I liked about vlogging was I could always be myself and now it's like nitpicking at me everything I do um, so I mean I'm not saying I'm not gonna do any food vlogs I just wanted to express that and and let you guys know why I've been avoiding them I do want to do them I do like to share with you guys um, to show you guys that you guys can live a flexible lifestyle and it doesn't have to just be chicken and broccoli in order to be fit and that's why I liked doing them because I feel like a lot of times you get an, um, a bad impression of it of how you need to eat and act in a fitness journey because of what you see online and what you see is sometimes just a highlight like someone will post their healthiest plate of the day on Instagram but they don't post anything else they ate or any treats that they had um, so for that reason I that's why I like like full days of eating because it puts a more realistic um, view but uh, I'm not saying I'm not gonna do them I just really wanted to express that with you guys and let you guys know how I felt and I think being able to share that with you will make it easier for me to go ahead and just jump in and do it again. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wanted to share that with you guys. So anyways, oh, I was out of focus. I am going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm super excited I hit 250 on, on squats. Um, hopefully we can increase that through time, but it was just a really good achievement. I feel proud that I was able to do it. Um, if you are not subscribed <laughs> be sure to do so um hit a like on the video as always because it is very motivating for me sometimes i need an, a little extra push um and that usually does it for me and if you have not hit that notification button i just totally scrambled my ending oh my goodness <laughs> uh if you do not hit the bell by the subscribe button you will not be notified every time i post a video and you want to be so until next time guys bye